Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it's just to join me today as I continue exploring the Giovanni Mansion without this guy shooting me in the face. Oh, look at that. Another of those icons. Can I go in here? Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, let's continue exploring this place. It's a very nice looking place, even if a little bit barren. We got a little uh, bug on the water, but yeah, that's how the game goes. Uh, ooh, we got a nice little pool. Let's let's take a dip. Whee! And there we go. No, that was not as exciting as I wanted it to be. Let's get out of here. There we go. Okay, let's continue looking around. I think there might be something out here or in here. I don't know. It's to the outside. That might be the door. Yeah, there's no door on this. No, there's no door on this side. I was looking if there was a secret passage because you never know. One of these... One of these panels might just open, and, uh, oh, how high is that? How high that check is? Ten, okay. Well, we're gonna come back, but not right now, because we still have stuff to do before we mess around with the boss of this place. I'm not gonna open that door. Not gonna open that door, certainly. And the hiccups are strong with me right now. Oh, man, that was a big one. Sorry. Hope you didn't hear anything, like any look or blah. Anyway, we got places to be. Let's continue exploring the Giovanni Mansion. Uh, we got another bathroom here, or another room with a bathroom. No, no drunken ladies in here, throwing up their guts. Hopefully that that's not what it, the other. Oh, oh man, this place is is seriously secure about their stuff. I'm gonna have to go blood buff all over. Oh, that one. Let's see what we have in here. Oh. Miss? Are you... What? Have you... Is he alive? He is alive. Okay, so... She is a blood doll. Another blood doll. Uh, in this case, more because of the color. And because she's actually a doll. But let's just drink her. Not dry. But there we go. And she's gonna stay there. All fine and dandy. There's a door here that I didn't open. Even though there's... Absolutely no need to. And uh, what were they doing in there? I do not know. I don't care, really, because I am a vampire. What do I care about? The dealings of humans. They're cattle, basically. Cattle. So, yeah. Let's go to the main hall and uh, continue exploring this fine, fine place. There's somebody there that I suppose is going to want to talk to me. Because she kind of looks like somebody special. The last time we came in here, terrible things happened. And that was the piano last episode. She's playing the piano. Miss? Might as well be a costume party. Everyone's smiling, pretending this isn't a pageant put on by the patriarch of this family. Fine. But this is a contest, and I came to win. Oh. Uh, I'm Victor. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Hmm. Mira. Mira Giovanni. So, what exactly did you mean when you called this a contest? They gather us up here to decide just who's the best and brightest of this generation is. The lucky few are given the real power in this family. But some of us need to win more than others. Oh, forget it. You wouldn't understand. I'm, I'm very interested. Tell me more about the real power in the family. Uncle Bruno. Since I was a kid, he's been the patriarch of this family. Except he hasn't aged today. I met with a senator from Massachusetts who asked me if I was related to Bruno Giovanni. Said Uncle Bruno helped him with his first campaign back in 1950. We've all heard the rumors. The core of our family, they never age. They're secretive. Whispers of blood magic and a kiss. Whatever it is, they pick the very best of us for it. I do anything to be picked. I've made some errors in judgment, but I've lobbied hard for this family's interests. Oh, errors in judgment, for example? What? Forget it. I'm not saying anything about that. Oh, even the best of us makes mistakes? Come on, it's obviously set you on this path. I just met you. I like you, but I can't tell anyone. It's too personal. Sometimes you do things you regret. And if someone here found out, they'd use it to destroy my chances at the family ever letting me into their inner circle. You're not the only one with regrets, Mira. You couldn't possibly understand. Uh, let's see. Well... I'm under investigation by the FBI for embezzlement. It could ruin me. I did something. Because it made me feel alive. If you've never tasted it, you wouldn't understand. But a few months ago, I shared a hit with somebody I thought was clean. I tested positive last week. So you were a drug addict and now you've got 
Shh. You couldn't possibly understand. No? But that's why I'm here tonight. I won't have to worry about this disease if the family oh, accepts yeah, right. me into the inner circle. I won't have to worry about a thing ever. I'm on a lot of politicians' Christmas card list. And this family knows I've sold a lot of votes for you. I'll spare no expense for a lock. I want to be in that circle of power. And I won't let blood get in the way. And of course, when your time comes, I'll pay back the favor. Hmm. I'll see what I can dig up. So yeah, as you can see, you shouldn't really mess around with the guards because you're skipping a bunch of content. So this, this is why. Not just her, I think. There's going to be more people around here. This is, now we're going to mingle. This is the party here. So I really didn't want to skip this thing. Because uh, I don't remember actually how it goes. So this uh, lady over here is very... Are you talking to me right now? She's looking very pale. Hello. Pale, I mean. Hi. I don't think we've met before. Uh, Victor Rossellini. And you are? Nadia Milliner. It's a pleasure to meet you, Victor. Are you from the Chicago Rossellinis? Uh, yeah, that's right. Oh, you must give my regards to Great Aunt Frances when you get back. I stayed with her last time I was out that way. She was very sweet to me. Uh, Will, so uh, what do you do? I'm working on my master's out here. I'm from back east. The Giovannis have been nice enough to let me stay here while I finish up my studies. I've learned a great deal from them, like you wouldn't believe. For example? I, um, I really can't say much about that. Oh, come on, you can tell me. We're all family, aren't we? Oh, forget about it, really. It's nothing. Why? Come on, just tell me. What's the big deal? Jeez. Um, I just remembered something I have to do. Excuse me. Oh, seriously? Just leave me alone. No! I messed that up. Oh, sorry, guys. I would save scum here, but I'm not. It's just... It's... Yeah, it's got a nice... Uh, yeah. uh so yeah, it, I could save scum if I wanted to. There's no real point. It's just content. I'm sorry, guys. Um, not gonna do that. Also, because I didn't save <laughs> for a little while. So let's see if I can get into this door. I probably I won't be able to. But oh, I was level eight. Oh, nice looking library. Everything is white though. They should get a little bit more, a little bit less less marble, a little bit more wood every once in a while. Wood paneling is really nice on the walls. I like it. I mean, I like the curtains, but sure. I mean, I'm not really much into interior design. Bad monkey, no banana. So that one is for uh, research skill nine. Man, what the hell is that? I don't know what that is. What's the... Sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that does not look like a nice chair, though. That does not look... I've never sat in one of those chairs, but they don't look comfortable at all. Best chairs... Are always the the big tall ones with all all arms around them and stuff. Hey, sorry, you can't come in here right now. Okay, that's good to know, because I oh I know where I am, sir. I am going in there, but not right now. I'm gonna look around. That was a shame that I couldn't get her to talk. Um, yeah, let's. There's a meeting in progress. There's a meeting you in have progress. Business with Bruno. If you have business with Bruno, he'll have to wait. Something the matter? Family events. How many more of these do we have to attend before we're taken seriously? Honestly. Well, honestly, that facial hair you got going on right there, yeah? That's, yeah, anyway. Yeah, really? Uh. They're pitting us against our own flesh and blood for the privilege of joining the power click. All you hear is, what have you done? How much did you make? Who do you know? You can't tell anyone anything because they might use it against you. I'm, you mean if you found dirt on the others, you wouldn't use it? The heart says no, but the businessman in me tells me to smear them into the ground. I guess I would. And I probably do the same. Oh, okay, so... Uh, well, I talked to Mira. She's HIV positive from her heroin addiction. So that's good. That, that, that's the breaking news right there. That's... Oh yeah, she's HIV positive for yeah, she's a heroin addict, so yeah. I should have expected that. She was boozing back when we were kids, and she's been doing harder stuff every time I've seen her since. It's a shame. This will definitely not sit well with Uncle Bruno. Well, if I hear anything else, I'll let you know. Okay, so I can't hear anything else because I oh I can talk to this guy, yeah, but but she Just leave me alone. Sorry, I didn't mean to Okay, and now I'll learn my lesson. Now I'll save scum for this guy. I don't know why I'm doing this though. But I might be saving their lives. 
this might be what I'm doing right now, and she might be about to die. Anyway. Hey there, Adam Dunser. I don't think we've met. You are? Victor. Victor, pleasure to meet you. What line of work are you in? A real estate, of course. Of course real estate! Myself, I'm an investment banker. Great business, a lot of potential. For example, I got the inside track on this company right now. And let me tell you, when this company goes public, everyone's going to wish they had a piece of it. Oh, tell me more. Well, it's a biotech firm. You know they're working on growing replacement organs. Really fascinating technology. In a couple of years, I bet everyone will be going to them for parts. I figure an investment of $50,000 could be easily tripled in five years. <laughs> yeah, five years, right. Actually, this this uh, sort of development is actually, not uh, this sort of uh, research is being done these days. Uh, they were being done from back in the 80s, I think that's the first time I started working with stem cell research. Basically, it's basically what this is, but it's taking a long, long, long time. It's gonna take a long time. It's just very, very hard. But yeah, it's been done actually. I think it. Um, I think we've got, grown lung cell, lung cells, lung tissue with them or something for burn victims and stuff. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're we're doing this sort of stuff. But he's right. I mean, this is the future, biotech and all that. Yeah. Um, so you have much experience in this? Uh, how much did you last? Did your last invest investment return? You take risks in this game. Sometimes you make a million, sometimes you lose a million. The economy changes. It's had problems lately, but it's bound to rocket back any week now. Whoa, you, you lost a million? You haven't been very successful lately, have you? Most people here, they've got cash they don't know what to do with. And if one of us falls on hard times, don't you think as family, they're obligated to help him out? Besides, I get the kiss tonight. Everyone will be investing with me. In fact, if I could ensure my place at the grown-up table by, say, drawing some attention away from my financial shortcomings, I'd be guaranteed the kiss. Know any dirt about the others I could use? I can't pay you, but I got this watch and this ring. Ah, uh, I'll see what I can find out. If I hear anything, I'll let you know. But I can, I like this guy. I'm gonna, even though his facial hair is kind of weird. Um, so, ooh. Would you still be interested in some family gossip? Yeah, I guess I would. Uh... No, I can I can dig up dirt on him. Let's go with that one. Uh, that's not that all that's troubling you, is it? You can trust me. I don't even know who you are. I'm Chris Giovanni, by the way. I'm Victor, Victor Rossellini. Call me paranoid, but how do I know I can trust you? You seem decent. I've got a secret I've, I've been afraid to tell people as well. You go first. If it's anything like mine, I'll tell you what's bothering me. Okay, so. I'm in the call in the closet, if you know what I mean. Really? In this family, that's that kind of thing can get you excommunicated if you're not careful. Well, all right. You want to know what's on my mind? I'll tell you. I found out a few months ago my mother had an affair before I was born. Turns out my father isn't Giovanni at all. My real father is this writer named Michael Avalon. If anyone found out. Well, I might never rise up in this Hmm, don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. Enjoy the party. Uh, also, I'll tell you about another secret. Yeah, I guess I would. Yeah, yeah, Adam Dust's fart over there. He's flat broke. He's practically begging for money. Really? Adam always seemed like he had a good head on his shoulders. Might just as well be dead as broke in this family. I think I almost let him handle my investments. Adam and Neuro will be completely out of the running once this information finds Uncle Bruno somehow. I won't forget this. And you can be sure I'll bring you into the fold when I get some clout. Remember who your friends are, Chris. Also, I will see if I can tell this girl over here about his secrets. Hey, Maledetto Stranzo! If I had to spend the rest of my life doing so, I swear I'll ruin you, Bastardo! You're... She's mean. Hello. Just leave me alone. She's fine. What about you? They know I'm broke. Yeah, I told. I'm ruined. I might as well just go hang myself. Sure. I th there's a nice. Room. You want to follow me? There's a nice room back here. I mean, you kind of look like you're a vampire already. But anyway, I did that, which is kind of surprising. Um, I wasn't expecting to complete that mission successfully. Can I go in here and see what this is? Okay, I remember what this is—the kitchen. I can go upstairs. Oh, let's go upstairs. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go upstairs and see what is around here before I knock on that door or do something. 
I'm not really sure where that is gonna get me, but I don't remember actually how this quest goes. So there's nothing back here. A few busts. And I got one of these busts of, of me when I was a kid. My my grandfather was um, a sculptor, and he sculpted me one of these busts. Maybe in uh, I think I know the name. I know the name in the, of the. It's basically one of the most common sculpturing. It's like very white stone. It's like lime limestone. I think is the, is the name. Yeah, I got one of those. Not on display though, because I don't have a fancy house like this, unfortunately. Actually, I wouldn't want to have a fancy house like this. I would never be afford to pay for everything, because you need to clean this stuff, you need to maintain it. It's terrible. Anyway, um, can I talk to you again? Adam and Mira will be completely out of the running once this information finds Uncle Bruno somehow. Yeah, I uh, remember, yeah. That's, that's cool. Hey, man. There's a meeting in progress. Go back if you to the have party, business, Bruno will be out shortly. It'll have to wait. Seriously? What am I supposed to do with this, then? Okay, let's see. Let's look at our quest and see. So, you have infiltrated Giovanni. Oh, I need to find the sarcophagus. Oh, I know where I'm going. I know exactly where I'm going. Sir, can get in there. It's not a problem. Let me go in here. No, 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 don't fall. Don't fall on that thing. Everybody will laugh at me. Uh, is this the door? No, it's not. Is that the door? Uh, isn't it a door back here or something? Nope. Oh, that's the one, I think. Need to find a sarcophagus. Nope, it's not the door. God damn it. Where the hell? Wasn't it back here? I remember that. I remember a level 10 door that I didn't pick because I thought it w was gonna lead me somewhere. Man, sorry guys, I'm gonna need to look for it. It's gotta be somewhere around here. Mm. You see that? I see that. I don't know how to s not see that, because... Okay. There we go. I knew it was something back here. Actually, I don't think I left a level 10 door unopened. I might I might have, but hopefully I did. Oh, this is Okay. Okay. Well, let me save the game and uh see where we're going. It's, uh I'm kind of thinking right now, why was Bruno Giovanni so mean? If we can bypass him, and we can, being sneaky, but I don't need to. I don't think I need to. I'm going to be brazen here. We usually get a head, a head warning, just a warning when, when uh, stuff is going to happen. There we go. That We didn't need to be sneaky there. Good. Now here, it is another matter. Because I think we're about to find the sarcophagus. <gasps> Can I save here? Do I need to save here? This, sar this, this is the sarcophagus, I think. Is it the sarcophagus? Oh, that's, uh, that's a weird thing I'm saving right now. Yeah, so... Let's see what we have here. Somebody saw us. Oh, I got battle. I got battles. Battle. This is battle sound. It's a battle track here. Okay, um... I really need to find ammo for the anaconda, man. Who the hell is seeing me? And why aren't they attacking? What is this? I don't know what this is. <gasps> oh! Don't go down there. It's an elevator. Okay, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be reckless here. What is this? Giovanni book. Retrieve both occult items for Pisha. That's fantastic. That's the book she wanted. Now let's look around a little bit. There's a door here. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, so I'm going through here. So that probably is a better way to approach this situation. I'm also not gonna use the Uzi. Use the Uzi. I'm gonna use the Glock. They are here. This is not gonna go well for us, guys. I could... Oh, I got 60 experience points! That's so much! That's so much! Oh, man. I am... And you know what? I'm gonna go... No, that's so much. I'm not gonna spend it. Oh! It's zombies! It's zombies. That's why they're not attacking me. Okay. This is where we can... Oh, I remember this! under the Giovanni Mansion. 
there is this sort of catacombs place filled with these guys. To the brim, there's so many of them. Yeah, but I'm not gonna use a shotgun here to deal with them. Oh no, I am gonna dismember them with my broadsword. I also shouldn't be... Oh, they pop out of the ground, that's right. Okay, so I will not... Oh man, can I... Okay, yeah, let's keep going. I need to go over there, I think. Oh man. I can't open that, okay. Let's um, get this thing out. I think we might be able to kill them with a shingle, single shot. So shingle shot? Let's see. I'm trying to get more than a couple. Can you push the knife? What the hell are you made of? Yeah, I just wanted to get a little bit of a passage here. Here we go. Lady? Uh, no. Okay. Nope. Ouch. Oh, no. Brains. No. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna die. No, I am not gonna die. I need to make my... How do I, how do I get out of here? Oh, I... I... Yeah, that has happened, but it's all good. It's all good. We are now not freaking out, which is a good thing. I can uh, go ahead and get the book for myself. And uh, then I think what I'm gonna do... Actually, I think at this point the best strategy is to go with this one. And I'm gonna open this... And we're going downstairs. I don't really know where to go, though. That's a problem. Open that thing. Come on. He's, you, you need to wait until that thing is done. Yeah, let's go down here. Gotta take a few shots at these guys. Especially the girls, because apparently they're a little bit less resilient. And I think there might be something up here in some of these or something. I don't know. Let me also save down here, just in case. I don't really... The thing... Yeah, as I said, the thing is, I don't know where to go. So, this is one of those situations where the flamethrower would be a godsend but we don't have oh that's that's the one right there i get an item unknown what the hell is that unknown for tell me what that is uh research of at least eight okay i can i can get that research of at least eight that's gonna bring my intelligence up there we go and tell me what that item is oh i need to wait for it to trigger experience modifier one oh that's really good that is really good. Oh, man. You guys, you guys go ahead and, and read that. Okay, so how do I get in there again? Let me just save again. Okay. I don't know how to get in there. But these guys are gonna... Trick me. Let me see. There's no passage or anything. That I can see. Try to... Avoid them if I can. Seriously. Where do I go? Huh. Headshots don't count, I don't think. They kind of look like they do, but... Eh, they might. They might count. Ready to kill them all or something? I don't think so. They just keep popping out of the ground. That's what you get. Now, this is the door. That's the one. Ah! Something needed to happen. This guy needed to break the door for me. And we're out of here. Man, That I was getting freaked out right there because I didn't know what to do. And when you're lost by yourself, it's fine. You're just getting exasperated. You look for like 20 or 30 minutes and then you drop the game and never play it again. But when you're on camera, it's a little bit different. And it's a good thing that I got ca caught on, on by those guys because uh, I got that nice, nice... Uh, oh... I'm fighting already. I don't know who I'm fighting. Probably zombies. But maybe not. This place looks very nice. Don't it? What the hell? Who am I fighting? Oh, I know what I'm fighting. I know. I know what I'm fighting. Oh, no. This is bad. This is a really bad place. Guys. I need your help. I, I, if you would be here with me, and you kind of are in spirit, I know. It is a bad place. I hate this level. There's so much bad... No! Okay. Yeah, I just... Headshots do count, I think. 
Yeah, but you fall into these things. Oh, that's the same model, I think, as the guy from the blood bank, I think. Oh, man. Okay, so now we need to get out of here. Um, I always, I always am, I don't like this level. I can't get in through here. I really don't like this level. How do I get up there? Let me go up. Don't give me that soundtrack. Oh, what the hell is this? That's the one. Yeah. I can see that, that secret passage right there. Yeah, this is a good thing against zombies. Headshots with this one. It is good. Let's keep using it for right now. Oh, I don't want to go there, sir. No, I want to explore a little bit more. No, actually, I don't. Uh, so, yeah, this is the way. Oh, man. Let's go in here. Oh. Sir, please die. Sorry, I missed you. Not you. You, I did. Oh, the lights are going off. Oh, what the hell's that? Oh, that's a guy. Okay, there's more of them I know. It's a good one. So what do we have? There's somebody else. No. Oh, oh, the soundtrack is rebooted. Okay. I'm gonna save here, and I'm gonna say goodbye for right now. We're gonna continue on the next episode, but for now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.